Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Lauren. Thanks for being here. Today's gonna be kind of a weird video because I, I didn't know what to film. I have some ideas, but I was just like not feeling the inspiration for any of them. So I was like, you know what? There is so much drugstore makeup out right now and I wanna try it all, but I wanna be a little bit more responsible. So I was like, let me go in store and see this makeup. You know, I was excited for that. If you guys go on Ulta right now, you search new arrivals and you look at what's there. There is so much product from Essence. There's stuff from from CoverGirl, Milani, like I am telling you every brand, the new NYX foundation, like there is so much new affordable drugstore makeup coming out. And I was like, I wanna see it in store. I wanna see what these products look like, the texture. I'm gonna go to the drugstore slash Ulta and see what it's about so I can have a better idea of what I'm buying before just kind of going in for it, you know? Um, But drugstore makeup like isn't at the drugstore anymore. <laughs> Like, I don't know if this is just regional. I don't know if just in my area it's like this. So I would love to hear from you guys, but I thought I would talk about it. I'm also gonna share what I ended up buying, but I took a few little clips as I went around. So hopefully I'll have that in there, but man, like literally the actual process of drugstore shopping, going in store in general was really not, not fun for me. And some of that's just personal. And um, some of that is just like the way the store is, which I want to mention that this is no like criticism, I guess, to any workers or anything like that. Like it's not necessarily anyone's like fault. I think it's just like a weird spot right now with like the way online is and the way in store is. I'm sure the pandemic has a huge part of it. Like I've worked retail before. I know what it's like stocking and all of that, but man, it is just, it's a weird experience. And I'd love to know what it's like for you I have in my head that maybe in like the Midwest and the suburbs like the drugstore like a Walgreens or a CVS or even the Ulta's there maybe are a little bit different or a little more stocked like maybe it's just a, a different situation but I am telling you it was not necessarily the best time so I first went into Ulta like I said there are so many great launches out I was really interested in trying these essence blushes they have some baked blushes that came out there's like eight shades of them and I want to try them I'm so excited I literally talked about in one of my last videos about how I want baked products to come back. So I was like stoked as hell. They're $5.99. I have a feeling I'll probably get them all at some point. Like I want to swatch them. I want to like show them to you guys. I feel like they're so affordable and I'm just like pumped, you know, like I'm pumped. I want to be like a resource and I'm realizing like also going in how much like maybe, you know, the swatches are more needed than maybe I realized before. Cause it's rough out there. Oh my God, it's so rough. Anyway, so online I looked up where a store had the blushes available and I was like, I'll just go in instead of ordering them. I'll go in and like look at them in person and see which ones I want in store. They literally had three, not even really in the display. I can't even tell you if they've been open because they didn't have any packaging on them, but I picked up one color at least. And I thought this was new, but right now <laughs> I literally just rubbed on it. And you see how black my finger is? The writing on this is coming off. So it's been a weird, it's been a weird day. It's been so weird. Anyway, this is the color uh, number three, Goldie Cassis. Cassis? It's like a plummy mauve kind of color has a little bit of shine on it i am excited to try this one out but seeing them in store i'm like i want to try all of them so i'll have to order online and that was like my main catalyst i guess for wanting to go in store i also have been wanting some green color correctors like i said the eyeshadow palettes and when i went into ulta it was hard to even find the essence section it felt like so many of the products like weren't in stock at all even the new nyx blur foundation that's come out like you know it was kind of sold out but it wasn't nearly as big of a display as I expected and I don't know I just I guess I'm realizing how much has actually moved on to online you know like I thought oh I'll be more responsible and go in store to grab this stuff you know and see the colors see the textures all that but it was kind of hard to even see the textures and see the colors you know it was just an odd experience I really wanted it to be really good and positive and I like kind of came out being like I didn't like that at all so here's some of the thoughts like I'm gonna <laughs> tell you guys some of my thoughts first I felt like it was overwhelming and this is probably a personal one for me I am more into online shopping because I like that I can take my time. I like that I can add things to my cart. I like that I can take things out of my cart and look at the ingredients, look at the uh, descriptions, the reviews, like there's so much information available to you online. Whereas in store, it's just a ton of product. I feel like weird. <laughs> 
being there. Maybe I'm just a socially awkward freak, probably. But it's definitely just overwhelming, especially if you don't know the layout of the store. So you just feel like you're wandering like past the same aisle five times. Like I look insane doing this, you know? Another thing I couldn't help but notice feeling is that everything just felt more expensive. And I have like two points to this. One, I'm like, is it actually more expensive or does it just hurt more? I think there's an aspect to that. Like, and this might be a positive or especially if you're trying not to spend money on makeup maybe, but it definitely felt like the prices hurt more <laughs> shopping in store. Like it felt so much easier to be like, hell no, I'm not going to buy that. Or like, yikes, I don't want to spend that much money. So um, the prices hurt more, but also I realized how much I like to save and can save by shopping online. I feel like you can more easily see what deals and promos and, you know, coupon codes and, you know, cash back sites and all that. Like you can use all that to your advantage. You can check prices at different places places, see where stuff is. And like I said, that the actual coupons or whatever's going on, whatever promotion might be going on, I feel like is a little bit more transparent or actually visible. Uh, for example, I went into Walgreens after we went to Ulta, me and Sam, and I found my Pixie liner. I love this liner. It's the Rose Glow liner. Mine's like a little nub. So I was like, oh, I'll pick it up. I can't, you know, it's fun that Pixie's actually in store at Walgreens, but the actual price that was on the thing said 13 something. And I was like, damn, it's like way more money. Like even on Pixie, own site it's less money than that you know it worked out that when I got up to the register it actually rang up as 12 but that was not the price that was there you know what I mean so even if there was like a discount on it or it's not actually that price it's like back down to 12 at this point or whatever it's not super clear necessarily when you're shopping which could influence what you actually decide to pick up or not I also feel like even if you do know the deal that's going on in the drugstore there is like a lack of selection in a lot of ways that if you find one product Product, let's say, but then it's buy one, get one 50% off. The chances of you finding another product like in stock or in the color you want or all that to be able to uh, take advantage of that sale is like less likely. Whereas if you're online, you have like the full range usually, like some things go out of stock online, but not as much, you know? And that goes into just the, the availability. And I think there are many different reasons. Like we've talked about how not all shades are always available in the drugstore. It's gotten better in a lot of ways, but it also felt very bare. You know, I'm like looking at this Milan uh, section and there's like maybe seven lipsticks out of 20 that are even there in stock that have a lipstick <laughs> ready to go. There was one eyeshadow palette, the rest of the display, nothing, <laughs> nothing at all. I mean, it was just very barren and I don't know why that is. I don't know if it's like shipping stuff. I don't know if that has to do with supply chain stuff because of COVID and that type of stuff. I have no idea if it's like kind of always like that. Maybe someone came in and it just got like bought out and they're just waiting to restock it like you know tomorrow like maybe I just came in on a bad day but it felt like a lot <laughs> Like a lot was gone. On top of that, some of the stuff that was there was like broken and just kind of busted. It just was not a fun experience in that way either shopping. And I remember a time when, you know, the drugstore had these fun collections come out. You were looking for the displays and all that. And I found a couple displays actually at Walgreens, but they literally, the display was meant to hold like a colored lip, like one lipstick from the line of each shade, only one in the display. It honestly just was so strange and also I think so different from what I expected. Like I expected to be able to go to the drugstore and get drugstore makeup and I felt like I just hadn't been connected to it personally. So I was like, I'm gonna go in store. But I realized going in store, man, like it's not even possible to get that connection that I thought I was just choosing not to do. It's not really possible, at least in the places that are around me and that I would actually frequent. I will say that for what testers happen to be out because there aren't testers for everything and sometimes the testers aren't kept up very well, which again, no, I'm not complaining or saying that people should work harder on that. Like I get it, it's stressful out there as a retail employee, you're doing your best, like I get it. <laughs> I get it, okay? But it is something still a part of the experience. And so that one thing of like actually testing things, seeing swatches, I did get to test some stuff, which was fun, but there were a lot of things I wanted to test I wasn't able to. And it felt like a lot of the stuff I did want to test, they didn't have the selection when I wanted to actually buy it. So I still would have to buy that stuff online anyway. I don't need the instant gratification necessarily. Like I said, I'm an online shopper, so I am fine with like waiting for things to come in. But I do think that's one of the things that's kind of nice about actually going in store and I felt like that wasn't even necessarily a possibility so that was kind of 
interesting. And I really think the last thing before I just tell you the rest of the shit that I bought, I really was trying to maybe relive or like, you know, get excited about that new stuff that I said was on Ulta's site and I was excited to go in store and see it. And the only place I feel like I can get it is online. Like where does this stuff go? I, I don't know if it will come back. Again, I don't know if it's a COVID thing or just like a brick and mortar online kind of thing that just got exacerbated by COVID and kind of just the future of stuff. Like, I don't know if this is just going to keep going on, but I was just surprised by not being able to find that affordable drugstore makeup. We call it drugstore makeup, but it's not really in store. <laughs> like the new stuff wasn't actually in store for me to find. And so like thinking about it, like I'm like, I'm realizing now, and this is also coming from a little bit of like, obviously I do YouTube makeup stuff, whatever. But if I want that new stuff, I might as well just buy it online because I might not even be able to go out and find it for a while anyway, if I want to actually try it, you know? So just kind of interesting. I'd love to know your take. What are you experiencing in store? I just want to know, like, again, this isn't like judging it. It's just like so interesting. And I didn't realize this was a situation because I really do shop so much online. I do enjoy shopping online. And to be honest, I feel like I'm probably going to keep doing that because it, it also felt like so much of the product that was there, that there was the selection are just a lot of older formulas. And there's nothing necessarily wrong with that at all. It's just, I did want to see some of the new, it just, you know, it was just rough, I feel like, but I will say the one thing the drugstore has, like if you need a mascara, you can pop into a Walgreens, you can pop into a CVS and you can pop into an Ulta and you can get yourself a mascara for sure. Like they will have it. That's like the one thing. And also maybe that's just what most people actually use, you know, like the mascara stays in stock because they actually sell it. Oh, and that was another thing I was like, okay, for the stuff that is in stock still, like how long has that been there? <laughs> Like, wait, how long has that been there? Cause we're talking about older formulas here. Like, is it a year old, two years old? Is it new? I don't know. So anyway, tell me your guys' thoughts. I don't know, just kind of a little conversation, but I'm gonna tell you what I got. Most of it is drugstore, like I said. Um, you'll be seeing me use this stuff in future videos and I hopefully will have even more drugstore stuff, but I'm just gonna place an order online. I really am. Okay, bought the Essence Blush, like I said. Bought the Pixi Rose Glow Liner as a re-up because I love it so much. Decided to get a mascara. I don't think I've ever tried Telescopic from L'Oreal, like the Telescopic mascara. So I was like, let's try this. This is like a classic product. They said the voluminous I was like oh my gosh memories I just got it in the black so I'm gonna try that out the only other thing I actually picked up at Walgreens besides the eyeliner I'm like all over the place so <laughs> I'm so sorry this video is kind of like scatterbrained this is from wet and wild and it's from i think the rose collection this is one of the things that was like on a display so it's like oh that seems new i kind of want to try it this is in the shade soft and juicy and it's i think trying to mimic kind of the makeup by mario like if i had to say it was duping something i feel like it's trying to do that so that's a little swatch of it very light it does have like a florally kind of scent to it and you can feel all of the shimmer that's in it like you can actually feel it so i don't think i suggest it honestly it's like five bucks almost that's my first impressions going back to Ulta I got the telescopic there I got the essence blush there I did get two drugstore green color correctors that's something that's been on my list I've been mentioning that in a few videos so I got the putty primer from elf in green so I thought that would be kind of cool to try I don't think I've tried any of the putty primers from elf I have tried the Tatcha one that the putty primer I think was initially kind of duping and I actually didn't love that but we'll see I don't know my taste has changed so much since like the two or three years since that initially came out. So I have that green one. I also got the NYX uh, color corrector. This is more in like a concealer format and I kind of wanted to try that so I could pinpoint stuff and see how that is. And I actually got to swatch this, which was really nice. I will say for the testers that were there, it was very nice to know if I wanted something or not. It's interesting seeing the textures in store, some things sell you way more than they ever would have online. Like you're like, holy shit, I would have never discovered this. So I love those moments. And when I think about that, it's like, okay, I do kind of, you know, it can be fun shopping in store, especially if I have a few things in mind or have some time to just really chill out and not feel overwhelmed. But I also feel like there's this moment of like everything felt kind of lackluster in general too, you know, like kind of like, oh, it's all the same. <laughs> like that also was a feeling that came over me in a weird way. So I don't know. I think the last couple of things, these are not drugstore. I happen to be at Ulta. And again, swatching things and all that. I decided to go with a mini of the Smashbox Photo Finish Correct. One of you guys suggested this one. So I just got the mini one. It's also a green kind of color corrector. I'm really going in and trying to find those products. So that way I can like use less product on my face. I'm trying a new foundation today and I actually really quite like it. It's from Essence. They actually 
sent me this one, but I did a mix of two shades and I, it's so thin. I don't know. I, I, it's only $7 too. So I'll keep testing it. We'll put it on together soon. Probably. I feel like it looks pretty good. I also have like a very intense, very sparkly highlighter on just from ColourPop. It's not new or anything. Anyway, I just didn't want to go shopping for makeup without makeup on. Like I wanted to look all done up and feel all done up going out and shopping. So this stuff is going to go on my face tomorrow. Anyway, last product that I bought, I did end up picking up the quickie uh, concealer from Urban Decay. I did really like being able to swatch this and I will say the high-end you know displays definitely had way more selection when it came to actual testers and all that which is to be expected I feel like their stuff's maybe a little bit more permanent I think it costs more so maybe they can just put more money into making sure those displays look good and keeping them up and everything so I'm appreciative of that but I really want that for the drugstore too because I want to be able to know before I buy but like I said I think that's something that it's really good to know like man I want to get some stuff and swatch it for you guys so you can actually pick out the one or two things you might want even if you're just shopping online because it might be the actual only option that you have like you know to see those products it's pretty interesting I literally walked out of Walgreens and was like man maybe like swatches and stuff like that really is really important because I don't know where else you get them I can't go in store and see the product sometimes online uh, some of these brands won't even have swatches on arms at all it's just like you're just you know making stuff up and hoping you're right fingers crossed you know anyway the shade in the quickie a uh, concealer that I got was 20 nn it's like the neutral type one so I'm excited to try this and see how it goes. It felt like a nice formula where it's definitely giving you coverage, but it's not super drying, but also not super dewy either. Just nice and skin-like. You know so fingers crossed I really like it that's basically everything I got I did have my birthday $10 off at Ulta and then I got this little Dermalogica uh, recovery mask so that's everything I picked up those are some of my thoughts <laughs> experiencing the drugstore actually shopping in store for some of that stuff and the vibe was off man the vibe was off and I don't know if if I go back it will be back on like I think it will just be off so love to know what you think can you find these new drugstore products at your drugstore actually like do you find drugstore makeup at the drugstore or do you buy like cheap and affordable makeup at the drugstore? Because I also think that's kind of something that's mixed is that drugstore is kind of just synonymous with affordable. But even ColourPop was not, there was like really no ColourPop display at all at this Ulta that I went to. And a lot of the affordable brands that I think of, like Moira even, like they aren't really in store. I don't know, it makes me, in some ways I kind of do want to like try different locations and see if there's just better locations. If you have any tips for shopping the drugstore that you follow, let us know that too, or I would love to know. Um, maybe I just don't know how to finesse and maneuver it. Maybe that's part of it. I don't know. I, <laughs> I'd love to hear any of your thoughts on it. Uh, but thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy the video. I know it's kind of a weird one, but I felt inspired after going out and um, that was kind of my hope anyway going out kind of getting inspired and I definitely have some thoughts anyway thank you so much for being here I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you in the next one bye guys